Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Sunday, and I thought I would do a full get ready with me using the new Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. I had this on in my Friday video. I told you guys about it, and I love it. So I wanted to show you what it looks like in action, and then I just got the new Laura Mercier powders. These are the translucent setting powders ultra blur instead of having the talc these have the silica powder so they're the kind that are just ultra finely milled so if you're interested in seeing how these products perform plus the bobby brown palette from the nordstrom sale then i'll be right back really i think it was tied whether you guys like the neutral or the warm so i thought today just for you to see it i would do the same thing and use neutral on this side and the warm on that side. So let's do that again. I am not gonna use any primer, but I did just do my Obagi skincare. And I'm gonna do like I did yesterday and use my favorite sponge. I cleaned both of them this morning so that we'd have a good idea of the foundation and the powder. I'm gonna do one pump and start. Yesterday, I did it with the brush, and I didn't like it as much. So, now that is my pore area, so I have to just make sure that I get in there. But see how pretty it is just in one, just one pump. It just really, it's like I can still see my skin for sure. And let's see, let's do a little bit, because this is a freshly clean sponge that was pretty damp, I might need a little bit more right here. And on, my nose has redness from permanent sunglasses on my face. Okay, so that is this side done. You know, is that light? I'm scared that light is going to mess things up, so let me turn that off. Okay, now the next side, I want to do the warmer tone. So that was 330N. This is 335W. So let's start off with one pump. I love the consistency. I love the pump. I really love everything about this. And as far as how long it lasted that day, I think it was right up there with maybe not as long as like double wear, but definitely I would just say a good solid four to six hour foundation. I don't think it's gonna be your 12 or 24 hour foundation, but most people don't need that. Okay, here comes the warmer tone. And what's funny is when I was putting it on that day, I thought all the way I liked the warmer. But then in the video, I liked the neutral too. So the next time I use them, I'm going to maybe mix them. But today I wanted you guys to be able to decide if you want to order. I do recommend this. Okay, so to make it even, I'm gonna put another little pump over here. And like I always say, I do go over my eyelids. And okay, so warm, neutral. It does have a glow, but it is not like some of those that would just slip right off my face. I heard people talk about the scent of it that it was strongly fragranced. I don't get that. Matter of fact, I never even thought about it. So I would not say, it's not like Dior or Chanel. It's, to me, it's just, I give it 
just two thumbs up. Okay, this is what I'm so excited about. This is the new Laura Mercier Translucent Powders. I got the colors that I always use. I got the Translucent, the Translucent Honey. The difference in this is it's a blurring powder. It's talc-free and it's made of the silica powders. So it's gonna be one of those that's kind of real soft, not as heavy as the traditional. I don't know if I'm gonna like it as much because the Laura Mercier powder is one of my lifetime favorites. It's something that I use over and over again. But I will say I opened these to kind of get them ready and take some pictures for you. And they looked so good. They look so soft. It has amino acids. It has the hyaluronic acid. It's supposed to be poor blurring. So we shall see. I've got them both ready to go. And I thought I would use the Lancome Concealer just to go with the foundation that we're using. And I believe the color that I liked the most is 260. I haven't used these in a while, but they're good. That's the, the downside, if you can say, of having so much makeup and doing YouTube is you forget what you have and you kind of get in a rut. Okay, that looks kind of dark. Let's just see, this is a fresh, clean beauty blender. Let's see how it... Okay, I think that's gonna be good. Let's do a little bit, just because I always do, I always do a little bit right there, a little bit in these lines, and a little bit right there. Okay, make sure you really pat that out. Okay, now I'm going to try to stay still, and this is the translucent. I'm gonna get a heavy layer on there like I always do. I'm gonna put my beauty blender in it. I'm gonna really, ooh, I'm gonna really pat it out on my hand, and I'm going to I really like to get the sides of my nose and then down here. Wow. I hope you guys can see how pretty that is. Oh, another dip in, another pat off. Okay, I do think it is mm, beautiful, just beautiful. Definitely the same amount of coverage, the same color. It's just a little bit more fine. I really feel like it's pretty. Now, remember, I'm 51, almost 52 in September. I don't get Botox around my eyes, so see how many wrinkles I have. So if you are, if you don't have that to worry about, don't look at mine and get scared. That's just the way it goes. And the way I do my eyeshadow helps with that just a little bit too. Now I'm going to take the brush that I always use, which is this double-ended Makeup Forever. And what I usually do is get the honey side and I don't get like a whole bunch of it. I just dot my brush in it, kind of shake it off and swirl it in to the brush and set the rest. It's a lot finer. I like it. I thought I would just do basically the look I had in my Friday video and I will spray it after I get through with the bronzer and the blush. So the first bronzer I went in with the other day is the House Labs bronzer in medium level five. It's a rosier bronzy tone. And I really like to keep this kinda tight. So I usually start off where that natural, see when I go like that, it naturally puts a shadow 
right there. I'm going to put some at the end of my nose. Dab it in. I'm going to kind of rub it in on the lid. I'm going to go around my hairline a little bit. Rub it in. I'm going to wear my hair down today. So, okay. And then I'm going to rub it in the mirror, the lid, I'm calling it. I'm going to sharpen my jawline. This is very important. Okay, now I'm going to blend that out a little bit, blend it up. Okay, now after that, I owe Huda Beauty the biggest apology when it comes to this bronzer. This is the Soft Radiance Bronzer in Tan Light. You know, I tried it over and over again. I could not figure out what I was doing wrong. It's the brush. You have to use a, I think, like a natural hair brush and you have to like give it some pressure. It has no fallout. It's not a cream, but it's packed in there very tight. But if you will really swirl your brush in there, it is a very pretty color and it has a good glow. So I've been loving it just like all over, just in the, kind of like the three. And I know that I like a heavy bronze sculpted look. Matter of fact, if that if it gets too heavy up here, just do that. Wow, I forgot. See, that foundation is no joke. <laughs> now let me go over this again. Okay, yeah. Let's do lightly. Up there, okay. Maybe a little bit more. Yes. And love this i really do i'm so excited everything just looks really good i hope you can see i'm gonna do the blush i wanted to use the one i used the other day where is it here it is the rms mai tai it is just every one of these is gorgeous but this one is really pretty so i'm going to use just the same brush and the tops of my cheeks if I don't do like that I get some little bunches right there oh I love it this is so pretty Laura Mercier peach shimmer blush infusion that's hard for me to say for some reason today but this is a limited edition but I really like it so let's see if you can tell when I put this on How pretty it is so you can see just a little bit of shimmer right there but it's I think it's a very mature skin friendly highlighter before we go any further let's do lips I'm going to use the Dior jungle lip liner I had on the City Beauty clear and I just wiped it off and got tissue on my lips. See how it's a very unique color. It's nude with a little bit of rosy. It's like tawny rose or I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Let's do a new Clarins that I got. This one is uh, Pitaya. Let's see how this does. And I will say you have to give it a few minutes. That's why I wanted to go ahead and do it. Now these have the really thick doe foot. I try to apply to the top and bottom without getting too much into the lip liner. I love these. Clarins and Dior and the House Labs. Uh, I can recommend all of those. I still haven't tried all of them. Okay, so we're going to let that marinate for a little bit. Okay, that'll be good. We'll use the Dior Gold Blonde. Remember how much I loved this because it has that really cool kabuki brush 
on the end. I forgot, see, this is good. Okay, so I'm going to brush out my brows first with this. It's amazing how much this little brush really gets in your brow hairs and brushes them out. Okay, now I remember this being really easy. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this one just, it's not too slick, not too hard and pencil-y. It just kind of glides right on. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna take this back downstairs and use it. Okay, I am gonna kind of re-go through these a little bit. And I saw I had the Rose Ink. I think, I don't think I gave her products a really good chance because it kind of cooped me out when that lip pencil had all that white stuff on it. It was just a turn off, but I probably should. And I know that they're all very natural for the natural look and that's just not my look, but let's just give this brow product a try. Mm. Doesn't seem extremely impressive. I'm trying to really be careful what I say to you guys because I don't want you to get every single thing I use. And I would just say, I don't see that that's real special. It seems kind of dry. But if you, <laughs> if you like a dry brow gel. Okay, now we're gonna use this Bobbi Brown palette that I got from the Nordstrom sale. Pl fingers crossed, I have not even looked if it's still available. You can tell I have been loving this thing. It is so good. It is an everyday palette. But my favorite way to use it is a very, very simple, simple way. My favorite brush to use is this Makeup by Ariel and Morphe brush, the A25. And I just dip into this color, kind of pat it off, and then I do my crease. And it is a perfect crease color. Like that, I mean, I thought about titling this video, Easiest Eye Look. And I might put that somewhere, because it is easy. But I get so many people complimenting my makeup when I wear this. Now it's got these shimmers in here, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't, I like a more, it's not that I don't like any shimmer. I don't know, I go back and forth. Lately, I've been really appreciating the more matte. So take any, this is a Sonia G, but take any small brush like that and I get some on the bottom of my brush and then I run it along my whole bottom lid. That helps my eyes stand out and I think it helps hide some of those little fine lines. Just don't do it with a color that's too dark. I usually do this underneath with the first color that I use in my crease. If you are using something like purples or whatever and you don't wanna do that, just use your bronzer. But I just take the same brush, wipe it off, and then I go into this matte white color and I just do right here. I hear Brooke downstairs. She's home. I told her I would be down in just a little bit. See how pretty that is? Mm -mm. It is just, and then you can take what's left if you want and do up here. Just a really pretty eye palette. I was pleasantly surprised. You just never know, never know. A lot of times limited edition things aren't as good, but that one really is. This eyeliner, I've been loving it. It's the Lancome Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. I do my typical wing liner. But the other day, sometimes I really like that one that's straight across and that's what I did. Mm 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm gonna wear the same lashes that I had on the other day, and they are the ones that are from Walmart. There's the Salon Perfect. They're a little bit more bold. Unless you like bold lashes, I wouldn't do these. I'm just kind of doing it because you guys like my look. But the Kiss Jubilee would be a toned down version of these. I forgot how much I love this. The other day I wanted to do something on my lower waterline, but I didn't want to do anything too harsh. Looked in my stash and I remembered the Wayne Goss Tiger's Eye. This, he makes, he makes good. His last palette, that smoky eyeliner and this one, he makes good eyeliners for someone like me that just wants, see how it's just a little bit of accent on the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Mascara that came with that eye palette. It's the Mascara Regard Intense Smoky Eye Mascara in black. Okay, while those are drying, let's give my face a good, I'm almost out of this, a good spray. That is a good setting spray. And now let's dry. A lot of times I don't do this when I'm doing a video because I'm always scared I'm gonna look too oily on camera, but then sometimes I feel like I look too dry. I think the perfect spot is going to be doing this and then going back and touching up. And I'm gonna take the regular, gosh, I love this. Work it in this brush. And I might even do a little bit. Right there. Okay, now let's put on these lashes. Okay, you guys. And last night in my hair, I used this for the first time, the Hibiscus Wave Spray from, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm gonna assume it's Day, D-A-E. This stuff smells so good. But it said that you could also use it on dry hair. So let's see what it does. has a great sprayer. Woo! Got me. It smells so good. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be a wild woman today. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Sound like Bailey Sarian. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to wear it? I love it. Love it. I don't want to spend too much time going through everything. I would just say the foundation and the powder, the palette. I'm going to let you decide, but I don't remember anything I used that I didn't really like. I would say the brow gel was not that great, but everything else I really like. And I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. I'm putting on these sandals from the Nordstrom sale. I have loved these. When I went to link them, they got negative reviews. I'm just gonna say, I don't think that they're too crazy looking at the toe, and I think they're very comfortable. You can see that I have worn them and worn them. So if you're on the fence, I think that they are perfect. Okay, and then these are the jeans from the Nordstrom sale. Also, these are the rag and bone, I believe. They're the straight, and I really like them. So if you're someone who wants a straighter jean than the other BP ones that I showed. And I think they they have a good, like they hug your butt, but not too tight. They do have a button fly, which that, you know, I could take it or leave it. And I love the length. And then this little vest is old. It's from H&M. Oh, my accessories are all Miranda Fry. And then my Rolex watch, and my nails are OPI Cajun Shrimp. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up or a like if you did. That way I will know. And I just ordered a bunch of new stuff from Sephora, including the new Hourglass Foundation. So I will be trying that soon too. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.